first. That's great. Thank you very much. How are you, mate? Is it Kygo? Kygo? Crygo? Crygo? I don't know. Blimey, Rose is here as well. Who would have thought it? I don't know. How are you, Rose? Okay. How's everything going? How's the old man? Is he alright? before I get into doing stuff that I want to do. Let me know. As you can see down here by my weather thing, we are in a bit of a microclimate here, so it's quite warm really for winter. So I'm not too bad, mate, you? I just asked that, didn't I? No. Didn't want to do that. So my voice won't be very loud tonight because everybody's gone to bed and I'm not going to keep the stream on for too long, probably about the same as the other night, okay? So between 30 and 40 minutes. For a simple reason, I've got loads of stuff to do anyway. But as there doesn't seem to be anybody on this time of night, I thought, well, this is my time. This is my time. Here's the screen, okay, everybody? Does it look all right? Yeah, nice and high quality. I'm doing it in 60 FPS, so it should be. I must get the webcam set up though, by the way. I must do that. Anyway, what are we going to talk about tonight? Okay. Tonight, we're talking about education in Linux. Oh, oh sorry, before we start. Oh, sorry, sorry, Rose. This one today is my staple that has been since a while ago, since the last one went bang. So I'm still on Linux Lite at the moment, okay. But come April, I'll probably change on this hard drive, or get a new hard drive. That's the point. Is that okay for you? It I means Linux Lite works totally perfectly. It does what I need it to do, but it does have some idiosyncrasies that you have to get around. At the end of the day, yeah, you know, I know, I know. And I must get my other monitor plugged in and everything else so I don't have to have this bit over the side here because that's a pain up the posterior, isn't it? Don't you think? Mm -mm -mm. Now, I was going to run some music in the background, but for the simple reason I'm not, is the simple reason audio music I like is not free, okay? So I, we get taken down and be told off. Anyway, yes, Linux Lite is fine, okay? If you just want a general distro for any machine, it's fine. But what we're going to talk about tonight is Linux in education, okay? Linux in education. So what's your views on Linux in education, Rose? There shouldn't be too much lag, by the way. That's if you're still here. Well, I won't take too long for the answer, but it should be okay. Anyway, if you're in the UK, a lot of people use this, okay? It's called Expresso. Okay, Expresso. Bane of my life. Because, in my opinion, it makes things too easy for older key stage two. Yeah, yeah I totally agree with Robo. Raspberry Pi and Raspberry perfectly, even Raspberry X86. Although there are some caveats for that, okay, because of the installation and being single user, and you have to do other stuff to make it multi user. But we'll come on to that. Oh, see, oh, so you got me already. I was coming on to doing all this, and now you've preempted me, okay. Expresso, it's really good, okay, for younger children, but not for key stage two. Now, key stage two, if you're not in the UK, is, we'll call it eight to 11-year-olds, okay? Eight to 11-year-olds. 
and uh, espresso in my opinion is just too easy far far too easy it makes all the things easy for them to do now me on the other hand so I'll just go to this okay we're going to put in trinket I've done a couple of videos on this by the way now trinket you have to learn to code okay you have to learn to code so here this is a little thing they show you first we use it all the time in school or oh, some of my schools please remember i work in several schools so and that's why my name's sneaky linux because i'm sneaky you can't see my face you don't know who i am but i'm just telling you about stuff yes linux should replace microsoft for making schools because there was a few years ago there's a school in kent in the uk it's the southeast of england actually said to the parents well you're going to have to buy your kids an ipad to come and learn stuff in this school not ever going to happen especially now okay anyway this is trinket as you can see look we've done stuff yeah anybody know python here how many have we got on should i go and have a look uh we've got a few of you there's eight of you watching so that's all right so how many of you know anything about python let me know remember the, the live stream is going to be quite limited to time by the way i'm only drinking apple juice tonight by the way yes that's very nice anyway trinket here as you can see educational software or for anybody who wants to use it so as you can see here if I run the pro actually I'm going to reset it for you okay so I'm going to reset yes I'm sure and basically turtle yeah turtle yeah my little toe Tommy the turtle has drawn these three circles for us okay so if I run the program one two three he's done but what we have to try and teach the kids is whoa say so you want the, these circles to be a different color different size so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change that there to 50 okay and then we're going to run the program and look what happens yeah can you see but what if we move that one there to to minus 50 I'm going to run the program again can you see yeah so what about if we move it to works that is by the way minus 75 maybe we're going to run it can you see the distance between them can you see yeah well yeah of course rob that's the way it goes isn't it really but say i want to do this so what do you think the first 50 the second 50 and the zero means it's all in the code if you look at it really 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 closely if you don't know nothing about coding or python so what i'm going to do i'm going to change this one here 50 to 75. okay sounds good we'll run it can you see what happened the diameter of the circle got bigger and this is how we teach stuff okay you didn't know i did love cast neil you started doing this because you're in your next session oh Linux action show is that still going? Linux action show. I know one of the guys has done his own stuff now, but hey, yeah, see, I still do. I do live streams now and again, and I can't make them go on too long for the simple reason I have other people in the house, okay, and I have to be a nice person, okay. So, as you can see, that's what I was on about about Trinket. You can run uh, Python, HTML, whatever you want to run in it, basically whatever stuff you want to run yeah easy peasy now i'm going to have a window up for you so this is the stuff i've been watching and doing stuff and yeah okay so we go to bet 2018 now bet is an educational program or show basically in the uk here hopefully i'll be able to go but because i don't live in london I know I sound like a Londoner. No, but I don't live on. I live miles and miles. I live in the southwest of the UK. So the train fare is quite expensive. And I have to warrant that before I can actually think about doing. No, I don't want to. Go away. 
there's lots of stuff at Bet. There's lots of uh, people showing new stuff and new ideas and stuff. And I really want to go this year because it'd be really good. Don't you think? What do you think about education? Come on, come on, guys. Give me some questions. I've got some waste of my time at this time of night. I could do being other stuff, you know, like War Thunder or coding. Rose, what do you mean you're not a programmer? Enlighten me. Because everybody is a programmer. You use programs in everyday life. It's just not in text. You're a user. Okay, you're a user. Okay. But could you use the command line? Do I still use Puppy? Yeah, yeah. 751's fantastic, mate. Have you used it? Oh my god, it's fantastic. I've got it running on a permanent machine. It's fantastic. Oh, by the way, I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. I still have a puff on the old puffer, though, now and again. And what do you use the um, terminal for, Rose? Is that just to install like Synaptic or programs or anything like that? Yeah, 751 is fantastic, Neil. Your kids have took all your computers. Best you go and find some new ones, Neil. Not good if when they take all your computers, is it really? Okay, not good at all. And anyway, I'm waiting for a few more of you to come on and join before I get into the main thing, really, of what I want to talk about tonight, about Linux and education. How many have we got? Shall I have a quick look? Yeah, a quick look. Uh, only six of you. Is it worth me while? Because I've got lots to talk about. But if not enough people come on, I'm not going to talk about it. You just use it to install programs mainly, okay? Well, as in sudo apt get and stuff like that, yeah? See, I was going to do this as a video. I thought I'd do a quick live stream to see if everybody got down to it. But obviously I probably chose the wrong day, to be honest with you. Rose, can you use the command line to go to different directories and stuff? Oh, good. So you know a bit about a command line, which is essential, really, if you're even a Windows user. Let's be honest. If you can use the command prompt... You can get yourself out of a lot of trouble, can't you? Okay. I have used Windows, of course. We all were Windows users to start with. Bearing in mind I'm old, okay. And sometimes them little commands can get you out of a lot of trouble. But I've not used Windows as my main system. Actually, I've been Linux for 13 years full time. There's not been a Windows machine in this house for oh, 13 years. Maybe 14 now. I know, long time in it, long time, long time, long time, long time. Oh. Anyway, Puppy Seven Five One is fantastic. If you want to go and try it, just put it on persistence on your USB stick and just plug it in and use it when you want to. It's fantastic, Neil. No problem at all. Anyway, <clears throat> I went to one of my schools today, and. I've done some stuff. I fixed some stuff for them, really. The schools in the UK at the moment are really strapped for cash. No, they have no money. They can't pay for anything. They're even thinking about getting rid of staff. And some schools in the north of England are even thinking about stopping. Uh, it won't be like 9 o'clock till 3 o'clock. It may be 9 o'clock till 2 o'clock. Okay. Which is not good, really, because that means if you're a parent, you can't do your job unless you pay somebody to look after your kids oh, not really good so I went to a school today and one of my newer schools 
and the headmaster came up to me and he said to me and the IT head said well thank you for fixing that stuff I've done, I've done a bit of fixing today basically and um, I said uh, we've got 45 laptops that have been on a shelf for a year and they've not done anything all the chargers are there the laptops are all there they just can't use them because they won't run Windows 10 so I thought to myself well, what do we do and I said to the teacher in question I said well we could try Edubuntu but that's not been updated since a very very long while okay it's super super out of date so what do you do so guys if you're watching what do you do you got all these laptops you got 300 kids in the school only 40 working laptops but you got 30 odd not working okay. replace with a Mac 17 you could do Rose couldn't you you could do yeah but say you want to make it lighter than that to make it last longer what do you think come on guys keep typing keep typing keep typing Boom. yeah I did think of MX-17 actually to start with but that would be too um, MX-17 would be too different for them they need something a bit more familiar now Zorin would be an ideal thing unfortunately it comes with GNOME no it's not GNOME it's GNOME okay oh go Steve there you go mate now GNOME is just too heavy for these old laptops so what do we do ideas guys I do guys oh Rose has got a bit of an idea there thank you yes yeah so I thought of peppermint to start with well actually I thought of a several different base distros to start with okay yeah I might go there you go mate you didn't reply to my PM what are you doing man what are you doing man oh you've been busy it's okay that's only no big deal yes anyway so I thought as a base distro what do we do we want something really 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 quite light bearing in mind they're probably dual core machines yeah I private messaged you on YouTube about doing this audio stuff I've got it all set up and ready to go mate when you're ready yeah any idea no. anyway I'll come to you later ghosty anyway because I want to get on with this because I haven't got much time so we've got these old machines and we need to do stuff with them okay so I thought of peppermint 8 because they're all 64 bit okay because they're only a couple of years old. I think the oldest one is five years old okay so they're all 64 bit they all have about two gig of RAM some may have four so what do you do uh, you could install peppermint and say yes but remember this is in a school environment yes yeah, okay smoke ghosty we'll, we'll catch up i'll have to send you me me mail you yeah, eddie and you, we'll do it that way or do it by skype or whatever no worries okay hundred one thousand power ranger that means you're an old power ranger yeah anyway hopefully i'll be going to this you know week after next this is better this educational thing i'm not going for the talks mate i'm just going for the tech at the end of the day not 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 elementary uh, you know what <laughs> so steve did did get to the 10th of january before he had one didn't he come on he's done quite well i wasn't expecting him to last that long to be honest with you but moving on okay this is Linux used more in the UK than America. You know what? I ain't got a bloody clue, to be honest with you. I don't have a clue. But because of the costs here, um, I would like it to be. Don't get me wrong. I would like it to be. Really. I really would. But there needs to be more people out there putting it out and making a distribution for a school possible. Now, because Edubuntu is not really, it's not really maintained, is it? Really, everything is really old. That's in it. It's all really, really old school. Really, really old school. So I thought to myself, because I spoke to the teacher today, and I said, "What we do with these old machines?" I said, "We'll put Edubuntu on them." And then I've come home, had me dinner, and we've done stuff 
today at home. And I thought, mm, you know, that's not the way to go. We're going to have to build one, aren't we really? We're going to have to build one from scratch as a base, maybe using Lubantu as a base or Peppermint as a base, and go from there. So that's what I'm going to do, really. We're going to build the OS for the school and stroke area. Yeah. Hello, Fireway, Fireway Phoenix. Really? Is that not a car? Okay. Elementary is not there yet for my company needs. Here in the South US, a lot of Linux. What, what do you mean a lot of Linux in the South of the US? What sort of South? Because the, the US is a big country. Yes, very people call me so. Say them so, no? Is that not right? Okay. Never mind. Moving on. Anyway. We'll get rid of that one. We've seen a bit of trinket earlier, okay. So this is Python. Now next week I'm going to teach HTML, okay? To kids that don't even know what HTML stands for. Okay. The first one to say what HTML is gets a rubber cookie. Go. That's one sip. That's two sips. Come on, guys. You must know what HTML is. Oh, this will get me depressed sometimes. Do you can see video in the YouTube? Okay. I think we have a bit of a language barrier here. Okay. Or an alcohol barrier, whatever. Is that a language barrier? Do you think far away? But anyway, moving on. We did a bit of this earlier. We were doing a bit of coding, okay? So you can code stuff on Trinket, no problem. Which is ideal for kids. It's all online. If your schools have the bandwidth to use it, thank you, Ghosty. You get half a pint for that. Well done, son. Anyway. Let's move on. Oh, this is one I was moaning about. This is Expresso, okay? Made by Discovery Education. All the schools in the UK use it, but it's just a dumbed down thing and it's just drag and drop all the way. I hate it. All my teachers know I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it so much. <sighs> so, anyway, we're going to have to build an OS for old hardware. So we're looking at XFCE stroke LXDE or LXQt, one or the other. And it's got to run on a network. So everything has to work. All the cards have to work and stuff. And we're going to have to make a distro. So I decided to myself, yes, very right rows, I went to... I went to put Mint. Okay, sorry, I forgot to put OS in the end there. Uh, being a bloody idiot that I am. There we go. An idiot that I am, I thought, oh, that must be old machines. So I first downloaded the 32 bit, okay? But then the machines are old enough to be 64 bit. So I'm going to base basically the OS on Peppermint, remove some stuff, and put more stuff in. And I think that'd be fantastic. Any ideas, guys? What else we need in an educational OS? for a primary school in the UK which be what would that be elementary school in the US I think would that be up to 11 years old anyway so I'll just wait for your comments first I just think goes blip blop blip blop blip blop I mean I did think Lubuntu okay so I've got to Lubuntu Uh, Bluefish is a bit too advanced for them at the moment, guys. Yeah, it is a bit too advanced so far. Okay. The thing is, um, I teach in a couple of schools. Um, I'm teaching stuff that uh, is normally only taught in high schools. But the kids take to it really well, and it goes really, really fantastic. Okay. 
Yeah, kids love Tux Paint, don't they? But what other stuff do they like in Linux, would you say? What would they like? Okay. I should have booted up Skype, actually. We could have got somebody else in. That would have been quite a good one. Yeah, Android's not acceptable. Neil, sorry. <laughs> it's got to be a desktop OS. Question marks for Fireway. Come on. Okay, I'll go that Take that to you. Really? Now, Fireway, we're talking about... Um, it's very nice you come here, really, mate, but we're talking about education here. Really? Come on, behave. LibreCAD, yes, totally. What about Tinkercad, guys? Anybody use Tinkercad here? I'll open it up, okay. Got an account, no problem. Open it up for you. Yeah, fantastic. Love it. Anybody use Tinkercad? See, I'm here. I'm done. Oh, yeah. So we'll tinker this. This is Tinkercad. It's a 3D modelling programme. Free to use. Doesn't cost any money. Not at all. You can make whatever you like. I make parts here for. Yeah, Tinkercad, Neil. Tinkercad. Tinkercad. No, really? Like. Tinkercad. Fantastic. Free. I use it for my 3D printers. Yeah. But what do I say? You make stuff, you build stuff, make parts. You know, when stuff goes wrong on the stuff at home. And you go to the manufacturer and you go, oh, uh, some, this part's finished and it's broken. Yeah. Yeah, it worked fine for you, Neil. It worked fine for you. Design your own parts. It's fantastic. It's really, really easy to use, to be honest with you. Best one on the market. It doesn't cost you a penny. All you have to do is sign up. Okay. There you go. Tinkercad.com. Just sign in with, you, uh, with your... Google account and it will do it for you, no problem. And you can make whatever you want to. I've made spare parts for Hoovers and hair dryers and all different stuff. Uh, oh, I made some phone holders for cars, like mobile holders for phones and stuff. Do whatever you want, you know. Or if you, if you find a design, say on um, Thingiverse, should we go to Thingiverse? Anybody been there? Excuse my typing. So we get a thingy verse. If you've got a 3D printer or you make stuff like Neil does here, he's a sheet metal fabricator. Okay, you can make stuff. It's fantastic. So that's the best ones at the moment. Okay, um, we get to explore things and see what's coming out. What's the sad face for? Far away. Okay. So say you wanted to make, for instance, a roll up with scroll down. If they're in blue, this one's here, don't really try to print them because that means they've not been printed just yet. Okay. So I'll scroll down a bit for you just to find the print. Oh, I found a fantastic one the other night actually. Hang on a minute. Sminky pinky. Well, you can make it fun, Neil, mate. Just make it fun. Uh, do your job, you have to be a bit quicker, then design your own stuff and make more stuff. That's the thing, you, you have to find something you're really, really happy with doing. All I will say is, guys, as you get older, the opportunities for you to do stuff will get smaller and smaller. Okay? I'm just going to say that. That's my own experience, okay? I'm lucky enough to have found a way into doing stuff that I like doing. Doesn't pay hard any money, but hey. Okay, replacement knob for a mailbox. So we go here. We don't have these in the UK, okay? But the guy who's designed one, the guy rented that, so we can have a look at the thing files. He's made a nut. We can download the file and print it. No problem at all. What's Kitty Rose? Kivy, 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 Kivy. I ain't got a clue. Anyway, we'll come out of that. There's also AutoCAD and there's um oh loads and loads of other stuff you can think of. Loads and loads. 
Anyway, I was back to Ubuntu. I thought, did we go to a peppermint where it's got some stuff or go to a base Ubuntu? I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, of course you do, mate. You have to be sneaky about it, otherwise you get told off, won't you? And get your hand slapped and some northerner shout at you. Because they're quite loud, aren't they? Anyway, back to us. I've got a big list here and I haven't got through half of it. What programs, okay guys, I'm just scrubbing up bits out I wrote down. What programs would we put on an educational desktop? I'll move to that one now. What would, what, what, what would we have on it? Okay. Ideas. I'll change my desktop while I'm here. What should we have today? Uh, oh, breaking glass. That sounds like. Tuxpath, yeah, of course. Tuxpath, got to have it. What else? Come on, Rose. You've been quiet. Oh, but what office do we have, though? Do we have Libre Office, Open Office, WPS Office, or just Abbey Word G Numeric? What do we have? Or is it all depending how old the machine is? Thank you for replying, Rose. You know what, what I'm going to do next time? I'm going to open the Discord server up and we'll do it over Discord as well. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Libre Office, well done, yeah. But what fonts do we use in LibreOffice so our Microsoft people can actually read it yes that was Emma Buntus I think yeah? but it's not been updated recently as far as I'm aware don't mind no I don't like WPS so I was about to say I don't mind I was gonna be really nice no I don't like WPS sorry of course ghosties come up with LMS audacity Caden live come on hydrogen as well don't forget that one ghosty our door no not on these machines no kind of <laughs> wouldn't even bloody work would it your blank space here just this are you feeling lonely fire away why is that I mean, audio-wise, we're sport for choice in Linux. Let's be really honest. We are really sport for choice. And the stuff we're not sport for choice with, we can get running in wine. So um, OpenShot works fine for me. Caden Live. We have, I've got on the screen here, Flowblade. Yeah. yeah. Lightworks. I like Lightworks, but I'm not paying for it, unfortunately. I am not paying for Lightworks. It is free, yes. Don't forget about Blender. Make sure it's the latest one. Flowblade is really fantastic. I don't mind it at all. It's fantastic. Yeah, I love it. But Lightworks, even though it's freebie, okay, a freebie of the BB, you can only render 720. It's not good enough for Linux people anymore. Simple screen recorder. Got to have. Uh, you guys, name me some more screen recorders apart from simple screen recorder and OBS. Go on, let's go. For an old machine. Sat single core. Kazam, yeah, Kazam, another good one. But what else for an educational environment? Come on, guys. I've got quite a few of you here, right? And you should know more. Come on. Let's do this. Remember, I've got to deliver this by April. Thank you. <gasps> GMTP. Enlighten me. GMTP, what does that stand for? GMTP, GMTP. Um, um, my brain stopped. I'm really sorry. Also, do you think this age of laptops, we'll call them five years old, will the wireless stuff work? Okay. 
Yeah, Voco stream will probably be quite an all good all rounder, especially if we're doing seven twenty p. Remember, most stuff won't be going outside the school. Okay, it'll be internal only. There's lots of rules about working in schools at the moment, and basically, videos and pictures of children are not allowed. Okay, which is right. Oh, VLC, of course. Does it not come down by default with peppermint? No. I can't remember actually. Hmm. I've just installed it in VirtualBox. Shall I have a quick look? No, I deleted it. Sorry, I forgot. Well, I could install it, couldn't I? Illumination Software Creator. That's a new one on me. Right, it's a really old machine to record my desktop. Yes, it's really old. I don't think it's maintained anymore, but it does still work. So if I open up the box, hang on. I'll open up the box for you. We'll do a new one. Yeah, okay, yeah, I must update that. But I'm, the reason I didn't update it is because I'm changing in April anyway. So we'll do a new machine. We'll call it Pepper. Mint, even. We'll give it the two gigs it needs. We'll go for the usual, yeah, 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 yeah. Splash it all over, yeah, yeah, yeah. Henry Cooper. Yeah, VLC can do an awful lot. I do agree with you, mate. But you have to dig into it, don't you? So, we'll go to settings. Why do we still have floppy cell? I don't know. I don't know. We change the PS2s. Yeah, 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 yeah. We enable two processors because that's what the laptop's going to be able to do. Display, yeah, yeah, that'd be fine. Storage, we'll get the 64 bit in. Where are we? Uh, that one there, I think. Turn off that bloody thing there, I think. Yeah. And where is the run? MPV's a really good one. What about some uh, console stuff? What do you reckon? What console stuff could we use? What other audio stuff can we use apart from for making music? That's to you, Ghosty Boy. So we'll run this right there. I'll just run it here. Okay. I'll just drag it out to be easier, won't it? Uh, yeah, I do that all the time, mate. Don't I? Comes of age, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, so what does peppermint come with for standard? Okay, if we go down to standard video, GVC for you, Pulse of Dell, which you really need, Jack, Jack, maybe. And VLC, so it comes as standard. So that would be an ideal base for a distro, wouldn't it? For a school. So we get the basics. And the office, right, we don't get nothing there really. We'd have to install some office suites. But we'd have to preset the fonts so they work with all the other stuff. Yeah, I've done them all going through, mate. You know the school, hardcore. But would we put Spotify in? No, of course we wouldn't. But what other educational stuff? Anyone remember the G-Compris? Come on, anybody remember that one? Bling, blum, bling, blum, 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 blum. Turn off. Okay, layers. GNU Cash. You know what? That's not a bad choice, actually, because most kids when they come out of school haven't got a clue what to do and how to manage their money have they really not a bloody clue it's terrible at the moment at schools in actual fact at the high one of the high schools i work at they've actually just started a new class about how to live your life when you leave school which we used to do years ago as far as i'm aware but hey what do i know I don't know nothing, do I? I'm just old. You wouldn't want Steam. This is my desktop, by the way. 
on the steam would you know no, no. would you use um ops maybe stellarium thank you fat elvis good one how to invest is how to invest a good pro that's not a program you're using genuine cash down you stellarium is a fantastic one would you install any google products yeah would you i don't know you tell me i'm just here and you're going to help me okay so what i need to do is get a distro base up and running in a week to take to school okay no Google? No Google, you said, Rose. If you had some wine, thank you. So it's just basic school stuff. Would we use a thunder, maybe, to rip CDs? What do you think? Would we be allowed them to use to rip CDs to maybe do a project? Oh really, Ghosty? Can we get that to run? I've not seen that for years. Can we get it to run in wine? I'm not sure. Office Ripper. Is it like Jack the Ripper? No? So that's better. Ripper X. Yes, another one, but do you need more than one thing to do more than one thing? No problem, they'll see you later. Well, I'll tell you what, mate, I'm going to give that a go if I can find the ISO or the program itself. Yeah, Neil's going now, he's got to go and do dad stuff, you know, school. And I can't stay on too long myself, actually. So, what we're going to do is do a base distro. Ooh, handbrake. Is that not a bit. I'll be honest with you, Rose. They've got to get their heads around Python, HTML, and CSS at the moment. But we need to have the distro to make sure they can do everything. So, yeah, that's probably quite a good thing. Probably. I'm not saying it's fantastic, but it's probably. Because we don't want them to go home and break the law and rip DVDs and stuff and Blu rays, do we? DVD styler you, is installed by default on a lot of Linux distros anyway because it's needed for a lot of uh, audio video stuff as far as I'm aware. Hardcore, you know the score. I must get these desktops to change all the time. Felt didn't me on. See, I like these ones, right? Some guys keep trying to flag me for them. Xburn comes, XFBurn or Xburn comes by default in that, them distros rows, by the way. By default. I'm just going to copy and paste that, mate. Thank you. I'll put that off screen. Thank you. Anyway, we're still with Peppermint. So I think this is going to be the base, but I've got a little while to work with it, so there's no problem. I've got a little while to work with it. If not, I'll go to this. I don't really want to build a Debian from scratch because I'm not getting paid for it, if you know what I mean. There's no money in it. But if you're in the UK or North America or Europe, you have to realise that we are quite a way behind the Asian countries in the world and our kids are not going to get the jobs because in 15, 20 years robots are going to be there to take them poor jobs when I mean, you see when you go to the supermarket, supermarket now to buy your shopping there is more and more self-service stuff Okay, so they don't need people to do them jobs anymore Okay, it's cheaper for them to have one person looking at eight tills than one person for t per till. I think the minimum wage here in the UK is, we'll call it eight pound, it's seven pound. We'll call it eight pound. So if we have six people at eight pound, yeah, hardcore, you know, score, that's 48 quid. If you've got one person, that's only eight pound. You save yourself a lot of money. Periodic table, that's neat. Oh, yeah. 
isn't there some stuff in the distro you can a lot more silent stuff in there oh there's the electronic stuff you can have as well the um how to make circuit boards and stuff thank you rose just reminded me yeah there's lots of stuff Oh, the hex cut. I've been doing that today, actually, Ghosty, funnily enough. We're doing a project on in Python where they have to go to hex colour charts and put the hex colours in the actual Python code. And it went down quite well, actually. Thank you very much for that. Anyway, I've got to go now, guys, because it's time. It's that time I've got stuff to do. Okay. Thank you for watching the stream. It's really nice have all you having here. I know. I'm sorry it's so late. But yeah. You know, score hardcore. Thank you all for watching. Um, there will be no live streams for a while now. It's going to be videos only. Okay, but tomorrow we've got update on pup seven five one. We have the new Gecko Linux. I've got a special one for you on that. And doing other stuff. Bye, -bye, bye everyone. Thank you all for watching. Have you all? Bye, bye. Oh, don't forget to have a beer for me. No, don't give me a beer. Just. Drink a beer. Later. Bye. Oh, ghosty. PM me, man. PM me. Later.